question because I, I sometimes do. Like, I'll take Nancy knows. What is it? Dan, <laughs> oh, okay. Dan. Well, no, don't worry. I'm not I'm going to don't worry. I'm going gonna, gonna to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, your turn. Uh, I travel around a lot to do poetry, and so people in other states have no idea what Dairy Barn is because there's an online exclusive thing, so I have to explain it to people. But yeah, it's a drive through convenience store shaped like a barn. You know, you may have seen some of them now because now they're the barn or milk and things or Dairy Depot, you know, but they all came from, you know, Dairy Barn, which is the parent company. So I worked there for six years while I was uh, an undergrad and in grad school, and, you know, it's, really, it's basically, it's, you know, it's a supermarket slash convenience store, sell milk and coffee, cigarettes and beer, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. And, you know, it's bad enough working in retail, but working in drive through retail uh -huh. is, is a lot. <laughs> uh, so while I was there, since I am a poet, and, you know, this is, I was at, I, I started publishing back then, but I wasn't a full-time publisher yet, because, you know, it takes, Poetry is not exactly the richest uh, commodity in the world, so it's like it takes a while to get up to a point that it's like something resembling a paycheck. But uh, while I was there, I was writing down all of the goofy stuff that happened while I was there, and I, I made poems out of all of them, and I kind of compiled it into this book called The Customers Often Wrong and Other Poems. So uh, I'm going to read some poems from this. Everything in this is actually a true story. As sad as that is, they are all true. So. <clears throat> Is that part of the poem? That's, I, I make noises, yes. <clears throat> a typical order. Pulling up at upwards of 60 miles per hour in a five mile an hour zone, she sticks her head out the window, not waiting for my wandering eyes to make contact and screams, yeah, give me your three half gallon special chocolate a hallway, nick that two chocolate and a fat free. Also, give me your cheapest loaf of bread, but make sure it's a healthy grain. Also, I'll take your two for four eggs, make sure they're not cracked, and by the way, make sure that milk is the latest day possible. I'll take two medium, one more percent, two sweet low, one more two percent, one splendid. These are hot coffees, by the way, not iced coffee. Last time the guy gave me iced coffee, oh, could you put an ice cube or two in there so it's not so hot? Inside of 50 but I'll take $8 back in quarters. <laughs> I stare back at her without budging. What? Why aren't you doing anything? Is there a problem? Yes, ma'am. What's the problem? You forgot to say please. 